Hey Google Ads fans and welcome back. In this lecture, I wanna walk you through the Traffic Sculptor tool in Optimizer. Optimizer is a industry leading PPC performance insight agency software. It could be used for agencies. It could also be used for individual Google Ads accounts. Uh, I have a good relationship with Frederick Valleys, the owner of and the founder of, of Optimizer and it's a fantastic software. We've been using it for over four or five years now. Um, they keep on adding to it. It's a really cool software and I highly recommend you checking it out and potentially uh, getting a subscription uh, for your company. Complete disclaimer, I do not get paid to promote Optimizer. I'm not an affiliate of Optimizer. I earn uh, no bonus or added benefit from showing you the software. It's totally genuine. We use it. It's the only management software that we use. It's not one of these bid engines like Marin or Kenshu. It doesn't manage the campaigns. It gives you additional insights and I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like over here. So let's jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you what the Traffic Sculptor tool in Optimizer looks like and how you could use it to your benefit. Here we are on the Optimizer dashboard and this is the Traffic Sculptor tool and we see a bunch of different features over here. First of all, we have filtering. We could filter by aggressive or we could filter by other options such as uh, conservative or default. I tend to always keep my filter as aggressive and Optimizer will spit out the most amount of suggestions for adding negative keywords. Again, this is traffic sculpting. So Optimizer is giving us suggestions of negative keywords to add at the ad group level. I could choose to deselect or select all campaigns or deselect certain campaigns to just get, select, just get suggestions for certain campaigns, um, but I'm going to look at whatever they have as a suggestion and I'll decide what I wanna do. I typically start off with deselecting everything up there at the top. Um, I could, if I want to, select all by selecting them again and I'm gonna scroll down and take a look at what's going on here. So over here it shows me um, campaign long tail frames as we see over here. Uh, that's the name of the campaign that I have in AdWords, right? This is pulling directly from the AdWords dashboard and it's showing me ad group canvas floater frames. And if you remember from the previous lecture, this is quite similar to the example that we gave and this is actually, actually an example. So First, they're gonna show me a list of search terms that have been appearing for keywords inside this ad group, my Canvas Floater Frames ad group. And obviously going by the title of the ad group, this is a ad group that focuses on Canvas Floater Frames. It's a specific type of frame. We bid a certain amount on that and we send them to the right area of the website. Well, here we see a couple different search terms that, that Optimizer is realizing that's being triggered by keywords in this ad group that should probably go into different ad groups that are more specific to it. So frames for canvas painting, uh, frames for canvas prints, wood canvas frames, canvas picture frame, stretched frames of canvas pictures, frames for canvas panels, frames for canvas art. And what is missing from all these, right, is the word floater. That's the defining theme of this ad group and these search terms don't have floater in them. So what we would do from a traffic sculpting perspective is wanna add these as negatives into that ad group. And so what I could do is add them as negatives into that ad group. So what I'm gonna do is select all of these. I like all of these ideas and we can go through, but I'm just gonna go through one example. And at the top, I could click add negative keywords and it's really, really cool. It's gonna actually add these as negative keywords at the ad group level inside this ad group in Google Ads. So I'm gonna click add negative keywords and I get, a, I get a notification, eight negative keywords will be added, and I'm gonna proceed. We're gonna wait a second, and then we get an output of the change log and an overview of uh, the changes that have been made, and I can close this out. Say I now wanna remove those negative keywords from that ad group, I would have to go back into Google Ads, I would have to find those negative keywords that were added to that specific ad group, and then I can delete those negative keywords from that specific ad group when the time comes, if I'd like to do that. Another cool thing is I could take a look at the impressions, clicks, click the rate cost, average CPC, and conversions, of the suggested uh, traffic sculpting negative keywords that Optimizer is giving me. I can do this for any account. I can look at different filters by filtering out uh, search terms that have uh, only you know, a certain amount of impressions, clicks, conversions. Um, I can apply those filters similar to Google Ads. And if you're in Optimizer and in, you're in an account that has a lot of uh, suggestions, you might wanna use these filters so you could only, so you spend less time and focus on the, on the search terms that are, are most relevant. Let's say they're spending the most amount of money um, that have less than a certain amount of conversions or whatever it is to, to go and find the most egregious examples of negative keyword sculpting opportunities. So that's sculpting in, in Optimizer. It's super quick. They, they give you these suggestions. They comb through your ad groups based on the keywords in your ad group, based on the ad text and find search terms that do not relate exactly to the keywords in your ad group 
that better relate to other ad groups that exist in your account already. That's the cool thing. They are looking at all the ad groups. They're not gonna just tell you uh, a search term that's not related to the keyword in this ad group if there's no better ad group for it to be in. So it looks to see if a search term from ad group A, from this ad group, really matches up exactly with a keyword in a different ad group and it should be triggered by a keyword in that ad group. So it's a really, really neat tool and it saves a ton of time. Again, um, the pricing for Optimizer changes a lot and this is just one of the many, many, many cool tools and available scripts um, and, and optimization scheduling platforms that you could use um, in Optimizer. And I'm gonna show you more about Optimizer as we go along throughout different sections of the course and you can get a sense of how cool it is. And we already talked about how you could do scheduling in Optimizer, it's, it's a really neat tool, so check it out. That's traffic sculpting. Uh, like I said in the previous lecture, it's really worthwhile as a good exercise to condition yourself to understanding traffic sculpting using these negative keywords at the ad group level and getting yourself in the habit of adding them uh, on a regular basis. Again, not as important as, as the consistency that you need with negative keywords, both the negative keywords that are blatantly wrong for your account, which should be added in the beginning of campaigns and, and as, you're going, as you're going through your optimizations, but also those negative keywords that really could be good keywords are just not gonna be profitable for you. And of course, one more time, that's, as, that's so long as you, you, you've exhausted the other potential oper optimization strategies to get a good keyword that's slightly not profitable back into profitability. Um, because your job is not to take the easy way out and just adding a neg negative keyword that's easy, but to try to figure out ways to get you know, good, good search terms that are just not profitable yet into profitability and we've learned uh, how to use the search terms report really well with filters, et cetera. Um, and it's, the, it's probably the place that you're gonna spend the most time in as you're optimizing your account. Negative keywords, your search terms report, that's really what it comes down to. That's really the, the heartbeat of your, your entire account. That's what you're spending your money on and that's also the search terms is getting a sense of how people are really searching for your products and services and which search terms are triggering which keywords and which ad groups for how much money at what results and of course at what rate of profitability. So that's traffic sculpting. I will see you guys very shortly in the very next lecture.